Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa, and thanks for tuning into the podcast with the best domain name and digital asset content in the world. The world. We've got a brand new Domain Sherpa review today featuring Josh Drew and Barman making his debut on the show. We get an update on Josh's pickleball exploits, and then we play the domain game featuring DLVRY.com, InMind.com, Weed.TV, and DevilsAdvocate.com. Then we've got the NameJet in a Jet segment sponsored by NameJet, and we talk about some domains coming up for auction, including TeamLink.com, ThirdPlanet.com, LongTermLoans.com, and Bottle caps.com then we talked to bar about his journey in domaining which has seen him go from dn academy to profitability in these last few years and it's really compelling stuff for those that are new to the space or those still trying to figure things out which at the end of the day is really almost all of us and remember if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast you can also watch the video version at domainsherpa.com and on our youtube channel at ds.tv you can also listen to the shows on apple and spotify and other podcast platforms as well so make sure to hit the like buttons and smash the subscribe buttons everywhere that you can to help us and then also help you stay on top of what we've got going on and also we're now integrating our shows with muse.ai which provides new search functionality for the shows and the transcripts as well so definitely check all that out and big shout out to dan.com the number one place in the world to buy and sell your domains with a special platform made for domain investors with that it is now time to get into this episode of domain sherpa where all roads lead to domains so let's go What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, a.k.a. JT, a.k.a. Jayon, a.k.a. Sherpa Winfrey, and I'm the host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review where we get into the minds of successful domain investors using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become more successful domain name investors ourselves. These are the experts. Today's show actually features some of the younger generation of domainers coming up doing big things. Super excited about that. There are four segments to a Domain Sherpa review. One, we've got the grand opening. That's where I intro the Sherpa, see what's going on with them. We talk about some related things, some unrelated things, do some AKAs, all that good stuff. Segment two is the domain game. That's where we're here with the Sherpas recently bought or sold. All the Sherpas guess on the price. Whoever wins, eventually, eventually, someday down the road, keep holding out hope. They're going to get that swag. It's going to show up. It's going to be super exciting. And then segment three, we've got Namejet and a Jet, sponsored by Namejet. We review a list of domains coming up for auction, see what the Sherpas like, what they don't like. And then last but not least, we've got Grand Closing, where we discuss anything we haven't covered already, what's going on in the domain space, looking at the market trends, current events, and allowing our guests to mention and promote anything they want to talk about that we have not already discussed. All right, with that, let's go ahead and introduce the Sherpas. Let's start over to my right. I got my boy Josh Reason, a.k.a. Bjorn Borg, a.k.a. Prince Harry, a.k.a. Harry Kane, a.k.a. Prince Harry Kane, a.k.a. Super Pickleball, a.k.a. Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. What's <laughs> up, man? How we doing? What's I told up? you I was going to throw that one out. What's but, up, uh, man? Good to be back. Good to be back. Welcome back, man. I'm excited. I want to hear about the pickleball exploits. I want to know what's good. I want to know what else you've been up to lately, but... Let's, we're going to get into that in a second. Let me go ahead and introduce the rest of the Sherpas to my lower right for the first time since, I, and maybe the first time ever on this show. Um, we've got my boy Is, it, really? Is this your your first, first time. time ever? Oh, wow. Ever. I didn't realize that. Ever. ever. Wow. Ever, 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 ever. All Forever. right, we got our boy Barman. We're going pseudo anonymous, aka Bartman, aka always sunny in Philadelphia, aka raising the bar, <laughs> aka passing the bar, aka a bartender is just a pharmacist with a limited inventory. Shout out to Albert Einstein. So for those of you who don't know, Barman is a graduate of Michael Seiger's Domain DNA University, Domain Name Academy, where he found some success. Did I what what? No, I said the you. Oh, the U. Yeah, I know. But uh, the U. <laughs> and uh, but by day, oh, he's found some success as a part time domain investor. By day, he's a software engineer with an interest in media, cryptocurrency and community building. 
And, uh, you know, you've been doing this for a minute, man. We've been boys on Twitter for a while. We talked that Philly shit. But, um, you know, but I think you and Josh, to me, really represent kind of the new group of guys coming up, you know, in the space, smart dudes who, you know, Leanne, there's other folks that, you know, not just dudes, but, you know, who kind of represent this new wave of people who've been doing their thing for a minute, have had some success, you know, based on just, you know, being attentive and in and, you know, and obviously smart. And uh, it's cool, man, watching it happen, seeing that happen. And welcome to the show for the first time. Thank you. Does that, does that, does that make me a Sherpa? It does make you a Sherpa. You are. You are officially a Sherpa. You've been introduced. You are a Sherpa. Woo. I will send you your mug. That I will send you. That I, I do have. have a mug already, actually. How do you have a mug already, man? Siger sent it to me. I forget why. I think I helped him out with this course a little bit. Once Siger sold to Drew, he just gave away oh, all the man. mugs. Oh, man. Yo, Siger it. giving away mugs? I mean, I'm <laughs> not sure how fold. I feel about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need time stamps on that. No, it's a DN Academy mug, actually. Not ah, a, uh, you gotta get yeah. a Sherpa mug, man. DN Academy, it's like, you know, the the DN Academy is sort of like the level one accomplishment. Then you got to that level two domain Sherpa. You're now officially a Sherpa. This is uh, right. you know, we got to commemorate the occasion. He's like, <laughs> like man, I don't know, I don't know if I should have come on here, but you do have all these leather bound books, and your your spot smells of rich mahogany. You know what I mean? Like the background, mm -hmm. I love it. Um, all right, well, let's keep it moving. Let's do it with the last, but certainly not least. We got my boy Andrew Rosner, aka Morpheus, aka the Dirk Diggler of Digital Assets, aka Bob Lee Swagger the Sniper, aka Drew. Drew got what I need, aka never gonna give Drew up. Graybeard the Domain Pirate, Cancel Adams. I mean, you know, I, I'm trying to cut down. I'm trying to cut down on AKAs. I've been going to therapy. It's it's hard though. But um, so what <laughs> what else is good though, man? What's happening? What's happening in your world? I'm here live from the beach. What's happening um, in my world? A lot of things happen in my world. A lot yeah, of man, things. No, I'm, 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 you know, all good. It's all good. We're, we, we just made a huge domain sale. Uh, I'm watching some of my predictions come to fruition right before my very eyes. I'm so Most glad I burned promise. the boat. So, so glad I burned the boats behind me. Now I'm watching all the rats jump out the portholes of the burning ship anyways um yeah all good man all good that's it all right well all i got to good. say about that all right well now that we've done all the full-on intros but let me double back i want to know i want to talk to josh for a minute or two i want to know what's good in the pickleball world what's happening you know i had a conversation with Siger the other day who we got to get back on the show sometime soon so um but um, I didn't realize that Bainbridge Island is the location of the original yeah. pickleball court, right? Court one, yeah, as yeah, they yeah. call it. Yeah, that's where it was like invented. Yeah. Have you ever gone out there and played it, or like? No, no. But I may go out. I may go out and hang out with Saiga sometime. We'll see. Yeah, because he was telling me he's a big pickleball guy, and um, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that. And yeah, he likes he saying, playing, with, playing with his son. Yeah. Yeah, his kid is like you know really into it, and you know then they're really good and. You know, and they're very close. There, you know who's you know who's into it like more than anyone right now. Amar, Who? Amar, Amar. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh yeah, he's playing like three a days. He's you know yeah. he's like. Yeah, he's, he's, well, he's I need you. To, I need you to come out to the new crib, Josh, and because uh, I want to put a pickleball court. Like, I need to figure out where I want to place it. You know what I'm saying? So, because I need to, if you know, dude, I why don't you go play pickleball once before you decide I'm gonna put a cord in? <laughs> because I have all this concrete in and around my house, so it's not like I'm saying, oh, I'm gonna just go build a complex on some next shit. I mean, I literally just mean I've got like three or four places, like because I have a lot of driveway. So it's like, where would be the best place to kind of put it? And I think getting an expert's opinion on that before I start painting lines and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? You live, are you living there now? Yeah, 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 we're in. And I've got the nets and I got the paddles and the whole shit. And I'm just like, you know, where should I put it? Oh, sick. So. Yeah, yeah, we need to catch up. We need to catch up. But yeah, in, in regards to pickleball, I missed the last tournament in Atlanta that I was signed up for because I was off with a family vacationing. We went to Italy. We went to uh, the UK, still some family. Um, so we were gone for three weeks and uh, I just didn't get back quite in time. Um, I may go and play a tournament in Texas in a couple of weeks, and I may go out to San Clemente, California, in like three three weeks. Um, but yeah, yeah, man, just enjoying it, uh, doing a little bit of um, 
I'm coaching like a team uh, uh, that play that's doing like a it's like a league format, and uh, that's a lot of fun. Just doing that, you know, just because it's something to do and it's it's fun. There's a bunch of guys have a few drinks. Um, but uh, yeah, dude, coach, are you like it. a player coach? Are you just coaching? Is it like the I'm Mighty just, Ducks I'm, where these guys are a bunch of underachievers and you're helping them like meet their potential by like you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're four year olds. Yeah, exactly. He's like, <laughs> they're cool dudes, cool dudes. You know, good buddies. Um, all right, well, that's what's up, man. You know, so and then after you, because you guys had you and your partner had almost beaten like pretty much the top ranked team or one of the top ranked teams. What was that deal? Uh, that was a little. That was maybe like a couple months ago. We we uh we had a really tight game with the number one team in the world. Like very very good team. They've only they've only lost once this year. They win everything that they play. We should have won that match. Uh, we ended up losing in a tight three-set game, a uh, three-game match, you should call it. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. It's cool, man. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys going to get to play them I'm still, again? I'm still, I'm still a better domainer than I am a pickleball player. But <laughs> <laughs> Let them know. Let them know. Um, all right, well, good, man. That's awesome. I uh, Yeah, we'll, t- well, we'll obviously get together and chill, and uh, I want to hear more about it, but... I hope you get another crack at those guys, man. If you guys had beaten them, would that have changed your pickleball career in any way? Like, would you be in a di- like, would y'all be like off doing other things if if you'd won that game? If we won that game, it would have been there would have been like a bunch of like media around it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the one that got away, which is sets the table for then you coaching this the team of like you know this hard scrabble team of upstarts, you know, because it's like. No, yeah, we'll instead to... of coaching instead of coaching a scrub league here locally, I'll be I'll be off playing nationally, but no. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So we gotta All create right, like let's go. Your main time, baby. Let's go. But I'm just saying we gotta create this story. I know this you're just saying. Right you're yourself. just saying a whole bunch of stuff. Let's go. All right. All right, all right. Well, I love it though. That's my shit. Anyway, all right. Well, let's get into the domain game. We'll get kicked. you a sports show. Hey man, yeah, I have should. we have a uh, sportspodcast.com. We got we got yeah, that one. Talked about that. Lots of, oh lots, yeah, lots. that was like that was like when you weren't focused on domaining, right? I'm yeah. Just trying. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm feeling the love right now, I've got to admit. But um all right, so <laughs> go ahead, give me a buy or a sell. What you got, dog? Who? You should start with Josh. He's up in the upper corner and then we go in order, you know? So Yeah, I I've, I've got quite a few sales. But let's go. I, the problem is, is that Barn, like, he's gonna know all of them because we talk too much. Uh, uh, true. Uh, that was my problem. So you know what? It's all right if we feel like there's collusion, but you just won't get your swag as soon. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of unavoidable, and I need to do I need to do a sell because the last couple of times I've come on, it's been like no sales. I look like a scrub, and you know. Need to build up hey, the fan base it. again. You said it, man. <laughs> so what you got? Uh, we'll do a sale. We'll do a sale. Um, D-L-V-R-Y dot com. D-L-V-R-Y. Oh, okay. D-L-V-R-Y. Almost like a play on delivery. I like this. Um, Almost right. like a play? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much a direct play, right? It's... <laughs> Few few missing letters. No? Is there an echo in here? You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> all right. So, hey, oh, hold up. Kitchen, uh, kitchen yeah, phones. bar. You know how this works? We gotta. You gotta take your phone. You gotta type it into the calculator. The number, and we and flip then it on. We're the gonna screen. say flip. I have a rough idea, unfortunately. So I don't know if I should recuse myself. I guess you should just be playing against yourself then. Nah, just play, man. It's all good. Just you know. I don't remember the exact number, but um. All right, so I'm going to say, all right. All right, let's go. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, flip. Oh, Oh, wow. Okay, I'm the low man on the totem pole. For those of you who are watching, listening and not watching, I'm at 4999. Bar is at 20,000 on the dot, and Drew is at $24,999 for DLVRY.com. Knowing that Barr kind of knows a little something about something, I definitely feel like I under, under, under shot it. It was a sale, but um, after all, all right, well, go ahead, Josh. Uh, Drew almost got it. Uh, uh, it's it was twenty five eight eight eight. 
Oh, and the eights are Drew's thing. You should have, you know what I'm saying? You totally missed an opportunity to nail it on the head. But, um, I mean, I got close. I got that's close. A, that's a heck of a sale. So what can you tell us about the sale? And then what'd you buy it for? How long did you have it? All that good stuff. I think I owned it for about less than a couple of years, maybe a year and a bit. Um, year and a half. Uh, I paid $1,000 for it. Um, and... I think I had the buy it now price a little higher, maybe around like 35, 40. Um, and uh, this one came through an after Nick broker. And uh, I told them, I simply just told them floor, floor of 2588. A couple of days passed and that's what it sold at. So I didn't really do anything. <laughs> hey, well, you bought the domain and then you put it up for sale. So, I mean, you know. And it wasn't like yeah, I paid yeah. no, you know, it wasn't like you, this was a drop that you paid 59, 69 bucks for. I mean, you put real money into it. So, you know. yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Like I'm, I'm happy. I quite like those kind of, I, I, I quite like that type of inventory. The, the more, the longer I'm spending in the industry, the more I like that type of buy with a sell in that range. I just, I think that the, the sell through rate that you're getting on that type of name that you can buy in that low four figure range, I think is quite solid. So yeah, I'm with it, man. Well, good stuff. Good sale. Congratulations. All good. Very good sale. Thanks. All right. So drew with the, isn't there like a huge company that's like, that like, is that, but or like DLBR maybe or, maybe dlvr deliver yeah i think it's dlvr yeah, yeah exactly Sounds like yeah. the yeah. Yeah. DL- Anyways, DL- dlvr sale. i would would be would be like i would probably want like 100k for dlvr yeah i agree i agree like we have mpwr.com which is like empower but without the vowels and um I get a lot of inquiries for that, and I price at it between one twenty five, one fifty. Yeah, like yeah. I, actually, I spoke about it on Sherpa, like maybe a year ago or something. I sold S P C E, so kind of like space, space, but without the A. And I sold it for like fifty, but I felt like yeah. that was on the cheap side. So, and and that got a ton of inquiries as well. It's like I don't know, man. People like to miss those. Yeah. <laughs> You People know, like to get stupid. That's what yeah, they like. Yeah. They like to get stupid. Well, you know, it's like they tell you, these, <laughs> uh, you know, these posts on social all the time, which is, you know, shows you a paragraph that's missing letters, and you realize the brain doesn't even need all the letters to get the point. You know, so, but from a brand standpoint, yeah, obviously, like you want if you're if you you can't say, hey, we're deli- we're delivery. Yo, dot check com. me out on delivery dot com. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. but you got to spell it weird, like you know, D L B. The radio R- test, baby. Y- yeah. The radio test. Um, but good stuff, man. Nice I love work. when people buy themselves a liability. Good, good sale. Work. That was good sale. And I think I'll see what they do with it. All right. Bar, what is it up? Your first time on the show, first time on the domain game. What are you bringing? You bringing the heat? What do we got? Uh, actually, I do remember I was not on the show, but I did get my uh, portfolio like reviewed like when I first started uh-huh. out. So ah. I was technically on the show, but not on. Yeah. The show. So how long? How long ago was that? I'm trying to remember, I probably like four years ago. See, I love that man. And that shows you. That shows you what's good with like, you know, with Sherpa and you know, and the folks on that, the come you know, up. Yeah. Well, I and at least two or three of those domains sold over time. Like I sold Virtual Ritual That was mm-hmm. like one of my early .io sales for like five k. Uh-huh. Like now, I'd, I'd buy it back for five k at this point. But <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, is so what dumb. is the sale? I don't know. Um, let me talk about, I guess, a buy. Um, I think I mentioned it, but I probably haven't mentioned the price like anywhere. Um, so let's just see what happens and see if I did good or bad on this one. Uh, inmind.com. In mind. In mind. I've got you in mind. So this is a buy. And it's a buy. Okay. All right, in mind. Ooh. 
All right. In mind. All right, you all ready? Let's go and flip it. All right, bam. Drew in front of the camera. Oh, okay. Ooh, so the ooh. spread is Drew at seven eighty eight. I'm at three thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars, and Josh is at six thousand nine hundred eighty eight dollars. Josh Drew is the just, closest. Bam, Damn, Josh with the with the big money bid. All right. So what was the uh, what was the price? And talk to us about why and and what and all that good stuff. The price was thirteen five hundred twenty five. Oh, wow. uh, on the buy on the buy wow. so it's a little much but the stats are like really good and i think i might have been like on tilt that day because i just like lost an auction <laughs> a big auction from the previous day um but you know reviewing the stats and stuff i really liked it, it has like a lot of uh other tlds registered and a lot, a lot of usage in uh, uh throughout the slds um but yeah i, I kind of overpaid but I think at the time I really just wanted a really nice name for a. Uh, it wasn't yeah. too for the price. Well, but. you know, so there's a couple of things I think when you think about where you know in mind there's a couple of you know when you talk about predictive stuff, even AI. When you talk about mindfulness, like you know, there's a whole lot of different uses and stuff. I don't know what the commercial applications as far as what companies are out there using something like that, but. You know, I always like colloquialisms, keep it in mind and things like that, that like lend themselves to being, you know, pretty familiar, even if you haven't heard of a company, but you know, that's a phrase or a domain that, that to me is, it makes sense. Um, where'd you buy it? Uh, GoDaddy auctions. GoDaddy auctions, man. All right. Drew, are you checking out stats on it right now? Are you doing the, doing yeah. a little bit of research? Let me just say not all my buys are this bad. I just wanted to, uh, put this out in the universe because. I had like a weird dream about selling this domain the other day. And I'm like, all right, let me just get it out into the universe and maybe help. Yeah, help hey, no, that's all cause. good, man. And it's all part of the, you know, it's all part of the discussion. It's the, there's no judgment. There's no judgment on Sherpa. Um, but we are judging you. And um, I know. what I'm cool. um, <laughs> no, playing. So Drew, what do you think based on the stats and stuff? What do you. Uh... So. um I think, I think you paid a high price, uh, but it is an interesting name. I suspect it's got some traffic. Uh, you've got a website called in-mind.org, which is pretty big. They've got, um, they've got a pretty fair amount of traffic. You know, they've got a really high domain score. Um, but I don't love the search profile. You know, you got 450 searches in the U S 1400 global, no advertisers. The number one long tail keyword is kids in mind. Uh, I'm not sure what you do with that. Uh, you know, bear in mind. So brand Let bucket, this in mind. brand bucket approved this name for like 200 plus. So I just listed it with them. So it's probably get published this week. So I'll take my chances as a, like, I guess like a brandable kind of keyword. Or yeah, no. Uh, so, so I love two and three word little like common phrases. I, I, you know, Mike Birkins is the one who actually turned me onto that, you know, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, 15, whatever it was. And it like, he was the King. He had a portfolio of killer ones. Uh, I bought, uh, keep calm.com from his ass. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I love that name. Uh, and I love that one. Um, you know, so in mind is like a great, it's a great little front of mind expression. Um, I think that it has lots of potential applications. I don't see clear and apparent end users that would lead me to pay that kind of price. Um, I figured I was low at 788, but I thought maybe you paid 1500, 2500. I, I think at 13, you know, you probably tied up a lot of money for a long time. But eventually, that's a name that will sell. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a great domain. It's it's a good domain. There's nothing, I don't have anything negative to say about it. Um, I just, you know, the way I evaluate these things is like, was there a better place to invest $13,000 somewhere else with an equal or higher return on investment? in an equal or shorter period of time. That's basically how I evaluate, you know, all my decisions. 
there's a domain name nq.com. It got, you know, it's making its way around. I got all that, you know, last week for, uh, I think it was 390, 390,000 or 400,000 or something. It was just under. And, you know, that's a great price. If you're in the market and you're just looking for a random two letter.com, I haven't seen one at that price in a long time. NQ.com at 400 or less is a great deal. But you go and you evaluate, all right, who am I going to sell that to? Well, it's a great store of value. You know what I mean? Over the long term, that's a great store of value. In the immediate short term, there's just better places to put my capital that will have a higher return on investment, maybe more downside risk, right? Because NQ.com, for example, at, at 400, like you're not going to lose money. It's a great store of value. But I don't see anybody that's going to buy that name for 1.2 million, 1.5 million, 2.5 million. It, it, there's nobody in, in the sort of my, let's say, the known universe that I can see that would pay that or is qualified to pay that. And so that means you need some new company to start up that has a name that, you know, is, let's say, in some way associated to NQ. And then you need them to grow into the type of company they can afford to buy that name. And so you're looking at a five, 10 year hold time for that name minimum to get your money back and make a profit uh, unless you want to sell it at, you know, what you paid more or less. And, and I think, you know, it's a similar situation. I think um, now there's uh, probably more to this than I'm seeing just because uh, if you bought this in an auction, it means there was a bunch of other people willing to pay 13 or close to it. So, um, oh yeah, look, this thing's got a little SEO love. It's got a domain score of 28. It's got 1200 backlinks. Uh, so it's got, yeah, this, this didn't just sell on the domain value. There's some SEO value here, but yeah. then oh, that also puts you in a bind because now if you don't go exploit that SEO value, rebuild the site, maintain the domain rating, maintain the backlink, then, you know, you lose some of that value they paid for. Yeah. Earlier in my domain career, after uh, graduating the U, DNA, DNA University, I was a lot more diligent. I got like with like these stats and uh, doing the research. Um, I'm a little loosey goosey, loosey or goosier now. I'm kind of like working off like gut instinct. So it doesn't always yeah. work. Um, I mean, I'm still happy with the buy, but yeah, usually you know, it pays to do all that kind of research and stuff that you do. Yeah. This is I still think it's a dope name. But I like it. No, you know, I, again, I'm not saying anything negative about the name. The name itself in mind.com is a great brand. Um, I'm just making a comment about, you know, yeah. price. If you're going to, if you're going to buy, buy a name at auction like that, I mean, at the end of the day, when it's a name that has that many eyeballs on it, because obviously it comes up and, you know, it has it's registered in a lot of TLDs. It has a high GoDaddy appraisal, so everyone's going to see it when they look when they're looking on the names because it's going to be top of list, right? So at the end of the day, if you end up winning that name, I mean, you're paying more than most people are going to pay for it anyway, and you just have to be comfortable with that, right? If you and me, I, I do the same thing. Like if I buy a name on GoDaddy appraisals that is a valuable name, like in mind, I know that I'm paying more than like. Drew was going to pay or Braden is going to pay, but sometimes you just got to do it. Agreed. That's my, that's it. my view. All right. And Josh gets the point. All right. So, uh, Drew, it now goes to you on a buy or a sell and oh. see if Josh can bring this home, bring home the big win right. on the domain game. Um, I don't know if he probably wants me to talk about this. I don't really care. Uh, all right, I sold. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Hold on. I gotta say, it's weird listening to you guys in real time because I listen to this podcast on two X. So, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, okay. So we sound like we are talking so yeah. slow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I right, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Um, you want to go with the safe and boring sale or the more interesting but potentially controversial one? Interesting and controversial. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's always the answer. Although I'm, I don't know. I'm like, ooh, let's go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
No, it's not, it's not controversial. I just, uh, I don't know if he wants it public, but I don't care. All right. Uh, weed.tv. Weed.tv. Oh, for real? Weed.tv is still sell? That's wild. Weed.tv. I'm actually out on this one. So this is going to be Josh and Barman to see if we're going to go to overtime or oh, if that was we... Nuts. Hmm? Oh, that was Nats? That was Nats? Nats? Was that Nat Nat Collins? No. Oh, why is it forward to secured offers? Why is he doing research? No, I just wanted to see if an end user bought it. <laughs> well, that's research. That is research. You sold it, right? Yeah. Hold on. Now you're freaking me out. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering why it's going to. Oh, uh, it's not. No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's not secured offers. It's not secured offers. It just looked the same. Don't worry. You don't need to freak out. <laughs> um, All right. what, what, what did you do? What did you do? I just went. To, no, I just went to weed.tv and then I saw the banner at the top. And for some reason, I read securedoffers.com at the top. And I, that's always like Nat's names. And it didn't say that. I don't know. I just like hallucinated. It's like it didn't say what I said. You it just, said it just, you just, you just, the you same just words. hallucinated. I just hallucinated um, it, dude. All right, yeah. You so, watch no, too much of that weed TV. You feel me, <laughs> man? You you have me questioning my own reality and shit. What the <laughs> fuck? We 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 come <laughs> undone. We, come we, got undone. Paid, we we got paid for it. So at the end of the day, oh, that know, bleach. Like, all right. Bleach uh, let me just nail this on the head right now. Oh shit! Here we go. Josh is trying to take home that swag. I'm ready. ready. Yeah. Yeah, it's just you two. So go ahead and flip it. All right. We got 95K on the high Ooh. side with Josh, and bar is at $14,888. All right. Is Josh taking home the swag? Uh, or is bar forcing overtime? No. Bar, bar's taking it. Oh, oh, it like 40, no. You sold that shit for like 45, man. I hate you. 40, 40. Oh, <laughs> uh, bar with the point. All right. 40 40 g all right we'll talk about it how when did you how long do you have it did you did you get this name in uh an auction like what's the uh, uh it's on a payment plan we got this name a long time ago let me see that's still a good sale though uh we got this name in 2015 we bought it for three thousand dollars um yeah, so that was uh, February 2015. So that was actually prior to cannabis being legal in any state in America. It was, uh, I think, March 2015 is when it went legal in Colorado. So this was just prior to it becoming legal anywhere in America for recreational use. Yeah. All right, so since now we have a three-way tie at the top, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring up a name. And I need you all to not go onto your computer or any of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to pull a name jet name that we had talked about on a previous show to determine the the winner here. But you all cannot go into your, your stuff to try to find it. So, all right, this domain, and let me see. I'm going to go back a couple months. And I'm going to go ahead and grab, um, let's see, what feels like a good overtime domain. Um, all right. Um, were, were any of y'all on, let's see, devilsadvocate.com? Devil's Advocate? No. Drew? Advocate.com. I, I don't know. I would have bought that shit if I saw it. I heard that. I didn't see it. <laughs> all right. Well, then, all right. Give me devils. Then that's what we're going with. This was a name jet domain. Devil's Advocate. Be quick. Let's go. No computers. Just put it on your phone and flip it around. This is like a speed round overtime. The winner. Let's see what we get. Devil's Advocate.com. Sold on name jet. What was, this, what was the final sales price? What y'all got? All right. And. 
The winner is, oh, we got uh, Drew is at $2,888. Barman is at $3,200. And Josh is at $7,777. The winner, and really close to the pin, is my boy, Chicka Chicka Slim Shady, my boy, Josh Reason. It was $7,500. Homeboy came Whoa. Home. Boom. And he gets the wow, big winner. Wow, that went for $7,500. I think that's probably two why sweatshirts get, and a mug that's that you're owed up to this point. That's why nice. I don't get many... Uh, uh, I don't win many domains at auction anymore. It's just That's a care it's, package. It's crazy. Well, you know what's wild too? I mean, because you kind of think about it. I mean, you talk about two words and, you know, sort of a saying and a devil's advocate. It's, you know, it's a movie, you know, other things. Uh, commercial application, I think, is kind of tough for that one, right? So if I compare that to like the name that Barr bought, you know, I would clearly, I would much rather pay the higher price for inmind.com than pay 7500 for devil's advocate. But I don't know. Would you guys agree, or what do you think? Like, you know, what's the what's the name going to be used for, right? In a way that's, you know, yeah, I prefer in mind. I would probably be used for something naughty, I guess. Uh, I don't know what devil devil's advocate. Devil's advocate, yeah. I don't know if it was if I was a lawyer, that would be like my company's name. I'd be yeah. like. Well, that was the movie. <laughs> it was, uh, remember, yeah. Al Pacino was the devil and he was a lawyer. And he was, uh, yeah, Keanu exactly. Reeves. Keanu Reeves was the young upstart attorney that got hired by the firm. And then, uh, you know, it turned out he, um, you know, the, the big reveal or whatever later, you know, you realize what was going on. But, um, so yeah, all right. Well, cool. Well, congratulations, Josh. Big winner of the domain game here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. We're going to jump really quick. We're going to go to oh. commercial and we're going to come back with the next segment, which is named Jet Gonna Jet. So don't y'all jet. Just hang around. We'll be right back and we'll see y'all in a second. Media Options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high value domain sales, and domain name consultation. As pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value, plus through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated to helping you obtain yours. Call or email today to put a domain to work for you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. As a reminder, make sure if you're watching this, if you're on YouTube or wherever you happen to be watching this, make sure you smash that subscribe button, pound that like button, and uh, do all the good stuff, all that, so that uh, you know to keep it moving, and uh, and also to make sure that you don't miss anything with our drops and everything that we're doing. So we appreciate you all for that. And uh, so, yeah, so all good. Well, Josh won the domain game when we were here a second ago. So congratulations, Josh. Boom. Let's go. Let's get it. And uh, so now we're going to move on to Namejet and a Jet, sponsored by Namejet. We got our list. We made a little bit of an update. So if you go to the site, uh, you go to DomainSherpa.com, you can download an Excel sheet that has a bunch of detail. Uh, we changed the how many days. So it used to be, you know, how many back orders as of the day we taped the show how many days till the end of the back order period as of the day the show airs, but instead we just thrown the date there. So make it easier because uh, then when people actually would download the list then they'd be like, well, you know, when they download the list is different from when we air the show. And then that kind of throws people off. So uh, we get no affiliate revenue from this, but we do this just to help y'all because we like talking about these domains and Namejet is a sponsor overall for the show. Um, but we've got a list. There's about 16 names on the list. We got asked about appraisals, taken with a grain of salt. I mentioned back orders, back order end date. These are all expiring domains, so there are no reserves. But in order to participate in the auction, you have to have your back order in before the end of the applicable back order period. So uh, the back order end date is what is on the sheet. So make sure you get your back orders in in time if you are interested in participating or even bird watching on any of these names. So uh, so that is what's good. And, uh, and with the list, let's do it a little different. Normally I'll let Drew set it off on the list, but then he talks about all the names. He like literally talks about more than half of them. Leaving not much You're so of full of it. I never do. That's <laughs> never happened. I literally like we well we got a brand new guest man you know so we're gonna let no, always I, sunny, I, we're gonna let always mind. sunny tell us what's good from the from the library it was professor plum in the library with the candlestick and uh telling us what he likes and what he doesn't like all right uh to quote one of the greats uh, i don't love this list um <laughs> but <laughs> uh there's a few good ones on here um uh. <laughs> 
I like Team Link a lot. Um, I feel like that's a really good like brandable because you want to, you know, you want to link teams. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, have a bit of a, we're doing a media options get together soon. And, uh, you know, it's very much the same thing. Think about like team building and, you know, and then, uh, you know, there's some opportunity around coaching and some of that other kind of stuff as well. So I think that I agree with you. I like that name too. What are you, what are you trying to buy that for on Namejet? Uh, ideally like a hundred bucks but that's not going to happen um <laughs> i'd say that would be like a fair buy at like 500 to like 800 ish okay i think the way prices are now and i feel like that's more of a like a, a good like moonshot name that's like two syllables like team link is mm -hmm. good for like 10 to 20k for an asking price uh in my opinion um yeah i mean if you can get that like under under g uh, i feel like that's a good one to sit on for a while with a decent five figure price. Yeah. Oh, I think that makes sense. Um, what else? I am not like a huge dot org buyer or dot net buyer. So I'll just skip those. Uh let me go. Are we the third planet? Is that Earth? We, we are, are third rock. We are the sun. third planet. Um yeah, I feel like that's a good brandable. Um what would you try to get that for? Like, I haven't done any of the uh, the stats research, so just on mm -hmm. gut instinct, that would be cool for like five hundred to a thousand. Um, I don't really hear that a lot. Like, you don't call it like third planet, so like blue plant, blue planet, or something else. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that seems like a good brand ball as well. Um, do you want me to do one more? Or? Well, why don't you give us one you don't like? One I don't like. Uh, let's go with uh, disqualify.com. Okay. So I feel like that has like a negative connotation. Like, what is the commercial application of disqualify? Um, I don't know if like disqualified would be better. Yeah. But even like, I don't know what you're using that name for. So. Yeah. So uh, to the I rest of the to the rest of the crew, anything that you could think of for use for that name? Is that name any interest at all? Mm, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? I mean, is that one that you're even buying for 200 bucks? I mean, maybe if there was like a military draft, you could like be a market yeah, to that. help people disqualify for the draft. Bucks. 200 bucks, I'd buy it just so I can flip it to some schmuck for a thousand. Yeah. Sell <laughs> it on DNWE. <laughs> DNWE, son. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, hey, you know. All right, well, uh, all right. So, Drew, go ahead. Now, you you go ahead and get the list. What do you think? What do you like? What don't you like? What's what's good? Um, yeah, you know, we've had a lot of good late lists lately. I'm not. This isn't one of them. Uh, sleeping problems is a great name. Uh, I don't. I feel like we had that recently. I don't know. Sleeping. I also like. Oh, you're something. right. It might be right. Yeah. And then I like teamlink.com also. Like bar, that's a great name. Um Yeah, Third Planet. It's got some potential. Long term loans, you know, that's a very commercial name. That could be uh could be a good one. Um There's literally nothing on here that I'm like, oh wow, I, I, there's nothing I love on here at all. All right, Peter. What you want to name yeah, one? I that you say don't like? leasing. Tobar. Tobar. You do a Tobar. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what a Tobar could be, was. Could be, could be your nickname, Bar. Come up with better nicknames. <laughs> Tow bar, there we go, aka tow bar. I didn't even know what a tow bar was, and I saw the estimate appraisal. And I'm like, 122 thousand, like what? And then, uh, but it is a thing, you know. A tow bar is like a, uh, you know, yeah, the, the tool, you know. So hit you upside the head with a tow bar, with a tow bar. But it's like it's so infringing in crowbar space. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> crowbar is like the better of the bars, yeah. even though it's an extra letter. But um, all right, well, so not yeah. a lot there. All right, what about you, Josh? What you I got, like? So, oh, okay. I think generics, generics.net or, di yeah, I don't know what's worth. Generics.net or disqualify.com. Both are garbage. 
<laughs> one man's trash is another man's treasure that might have to be the name of the show this today um well look man all i can do is just take the names that are there we did a show last week the challenge you have i feel like you, you know what I, you know you know what i actually just looking at this name for the 19th time searching for something i like i i think bottle caps is a sleeper i, yeah. I kind of like bottle caps you know it's like i don't know yeah yeah Give me Buffett songs. You, you know, my kids come home with these jars and they're like, yo, you got to put all your bottle caps in here. My daughter's like, yo, you can you drink some more beer to put more bottle caps uh, in my jar? I don't even know what they do with them. And then I don't know, bottle caps. I just, bottle caps is kind of a fun little name. Could be yeah, like, well, they used to have the candy. Know. There's the candy. And I, I don't, I've never heard of the candy. I don't, you know, I don't, it's I don't pretty terrible. Sure. For like a beer distributor. Kind of business, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a cool. I think it's a really cool little brand. I, I, you know, it's not going to be big, na- big money, but I think it's a sleeper. I think you can get that name for a reasonable price, and I think you can sell it for a reasonable price. Well, and couldn't it be a, like a franchise of a restaurant or something too, or a bar or something? And uh, you know, we keep saying Listen, bar, man. This, it could this be. It could thing. be. A, it could be a bunch of stuff. Could could be we a call bunch it raising the bar. Raising the bar might be the uh, the name of the show, the title. Um, the bottle caps candy. Raising the bar, that's a good one. Yeah, if the the bottle caps candy um, was pretty terrible back in the day, but they had like one or two flavors that weren't bad. The cherry were decent, but I remember like, do you guys ever remember that candy or no? Not the only one. No. It's oh, forgettable. Man. It is forgettable. All right, cool, Josh. What do you think, man? Anything that Drew didn't already mention since he rattled off like ten of them? No, bro. No. <laughs> No, nah, man. I'm so out of this. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know what to say. All right. So, I'll what take, about? I'll, I'll, buy, I'll buy Third Planet. That's that's it. Third Planet, Team Link. I mean, look, I think it's cool that y'all, you know, kind of like the same stuff. Um, what about FLSA, though? Does, doesn't anybody realize? Look at the minimum bid on FLSA. I mean, it's a great four letter dot com for sure. I just get bored, you know. It's like, what am I going to tell you? It's an, it's an, it's another great four letter dot com, you know. But the minimum bid is about. This is what I thought was really unique about this one, which is why I wanted to include it on the list. Is the minimum bid? So typically, the minimum bid on NameJet's like sixty nine bucks. Now, occasionally, some names will come in because it comes. So this is a registrar name. Okay, so 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 then that's a registrar name. And the registrar is parking it, and so they are earning a certain amount of traffic. Yeah, on yeah. It. it's got I, it's got I, a ton of traffic used, because of the fair labor standards. That's it. Fair labor okay, standards. So, that's right. Yeah, so it's got some decent CPCs. It's got decent search. It's got a little traffic on it. Um, you know, if they're if they're if they have a two thousand dollar minimum bid, that tells me that this name is. Probably earning. Let's say, hold up. Let's do a little sign sign here. Hold uh, okay, we're doing math. We're doing the maths up in here. This is some advanced stuff. I don't even know this is how they calculate that number. Uh, See, this is good. This is some interesting nuggets that get to be, you know, put out there in the universe here on Domain Sherpa. It's not earning much. It's not earning much. I mean, I, I, I bet it's earning. Hundred bucks a month, less. You think? So if that's the case, then you're not buying this name for parking, then, right? Or are you? Are you still trying to? Yeah, I mean, it, it it could be earning, could be earning a hundred bucks a month, could be somewhere between, you know, it's probably making two, yeah, two to four bucks a day. Oh. All right. Well, is that by itself worth buying it, knowing that you're going to make your money back in two years? Assuming that it goes for the minimum and you know doesn't go for more. Yeah, actually, I think I'm doing that math wrong. I think it's literally a fraction of that. I don't think it's earning that much. Okay. Well, then. Uh, so yeah. So we. I we think it's earning. I think it's earning about a dollar a day. I was going to mention. Uh, nobody mentioned uh, my local news. I think that's. A decent like three word. If you can get that for like a hundred or two hundred, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. For, 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 like, exactly. Five, under, under two, under two hundred fifty bucks. I'm with you. Yeah, well, yeah. it's like Braden says on the show. It's not that the domain's worthless. It's just worth less. You know, I think every mm-hmm. 
we try to make the goal with these lists is that they're at least worth the minimum bid. Um, you know, each one of these has a certain amount of back orders. Obviously, the good, you know, we try to find the gems. Um, and uh, yeah, well, that and I thought the FLSA one was interesting because you know, again, the minimum bid alone. You're, now you're not talking about is it worth sixty nine bucks? Now you're asking is it worth two thousand three hundred thirty seven dollars? Right. So even putting in a bid to watch this auction could potentially cost you that, depending on how it shakes out. So. Um, you know, what have, and then, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Vehicle leasing, nobody vehicle leasing. I mean, you know, it, it, it's a huge business. Uh, you know, there's probably an application for it again. You know, if I could grab that name for a few hundred bucks, I'd probably just take it, but you know, it, it, nobody's going to come knocking on your door wanting to buy vehicle leasing.com. And so it's like, if you go out and you find the players and you find them and you say, you know, I'm not, you could sell that name for a few grand, you know, there's probably a buyer, but it, it's kind of a punt. It's super generic. You know, it's not big enough to do lead gen on it. It's just not. It's, like, it's not exciting. Maybe maybe the name of the show is lowering the bar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Since we're not raising the bar with this list. We're lowering the bar. What about C.us? You know, like what about something like that? That's like C us, but it's not C like vision. It's like I, I, I like it. I like it. You know, uh, you don't think that could be an interesting, cool little name? I got the C behind me, as a matter of fact. You know, Listen, some everything's fine. Yeah, for the right price. You know, it's like if you, you but the, thing, the price is wrong, bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> B, C dot us. It's like. If I can have that name for ninety nine dollars, sure, I'll tuck it away, and you know, I'll be at a dinner party, and I'll tell somebody, "Oh, I got see that, see us." Isn't that a funny name? And then I'll never talk about it again, and nobody's ever going to buy it. And it's just, right. you know, there's <laughs> lots of these, there's lots of ways to come up to justify these things to yourself, right? But the the tried and true rule is, what's the commercial application? Why would somebody in that commercial application buy this name? How would they justify it? And then work backwards from there to establish what the price should be. Yeah. Oh, and then I mean, if you good. can make a if you can make an absolute minimum five X or ideally a 10 or 20 X, you should make that purchase. But you should stay within the confines of this is the commercial application that I see most suited to this domain. This is how they would utilize it. This is how much market it could represent. And so therefore it's worth X to that company. That means that I need to be able to buy it for like between 20 and five times what it's worth to them. Uh, 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 yes, lower. Yeah. yeah and, um, and then if you can do that, great. Buy it. And if you can't, if it, if it exceeds that level, just walk away. There's, there's, every day there's going to be new options for you to buy. Yeah, that's good. I think that's that's it's good insight, and I think it's well said. Um, all right, well, then that's it. That's what's up with the list today and uh, lowering the bar, you know, all day. Every day. US is going to be like a restaurant. You know what I mean? It's going to be like a, 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 a one, it's got one off restaurant, and that guy's willing to pay $500, right? So it's like maybe a thousand. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Well, good stuff. All right. So that's it for the list. Now we're on to the final segment, which is segment four, which is uh, grand closing. And uh, so let's, uh, so Barl, let's start with you and uh, tell us a little bit about your, uh, so what else you got going on? So, you know, you're doing some domain investing. I know you got your day job. What, um, you know, in the domain space, what has you excited or what you, or are you dabbling in any of the AI stuff? Is there anything that's kind of happening or even the NFT space. I know you've, you know, you've done some NFT, you know, biz as well. So what's, uh, what's sort of the hot topic for you right now? Uh, well, I mean, what's exciting me about the domain space? Um, I don't know. It's kind of like a very slow moving space. Um, I mean, there's still opportunity out there. Um, I don't, it, it's a little harder than like when I started, I only started like, I think like five years ago even though I've known about domains for a very long time, um, I didn't get good at it until uh, DN Academy. Um, so yeah, I mean, these auction prices are getting up there. Um, hopefully they come back down so you can replenish the inventory a little better. Um, mm -hmm. 
as i mean it seems like same old same old with the domaining stuff uh as far as like other things uh nft stuff um i do run uh the nft philly community here in philadelphia so uh we just had a meetup for the uh bitcoin pizza day it was a oh, pretty cool. big success like at least 100 people showed up for that everybody got free pizza so that's awesome. a fun little uh side project uh i've been working on so i still like love web3 stuff i and nft stuff i uh just don't dabble in it like too much except the uh community building aspect of it so that's been fun yeah. all right cool even social yeah that's what's good well you know there's definitely lots of stuff still happening a bunch of stuff still happening with yuga um did you get your hv mtls and you I know did. yeah yeah i got all that stuff um there's so much to keep track of even if you just follow like one project uh i know there's still so much to keep track of like the 10 ktf stuff i haven't paid attention to and apparently there's a lot going on there yeah there's just we need like an ai to like look into your wallet see all the projects you're a part of and just remind you to do something i personally feel like offended by the whole thing like i just you know what i mean like because i feel like in a sense to me and it sounds silly like you know you has been good I, I mean you know full transparency i'm actually an investor in yuga the company um and uh i just it's like i invested because of you know eight jpegs and now it's like heavy lifting now it's like oh you gotta play video games you gotta do this you gotta go do this and then it's like look let's get back to the days where you airdrop me free shit and then i can (laughs) sell it for money and then like you know like and like you know flex on my jpeg you know what i'm saying like that, that let's keep it with that you know what i'm saying I, I i'm not i'm actually super not down with the video games and the new culture and all this i don't need monkey buttholes i don't need keys i don't need fucking new acronyms i just want you know monkey jpeg yeah, you want it to be free. pure again i mean it was such a vibe yeah. and um you know i think make what's J- interesting make jpeg make jpegs great again yeah you make jpegs saying? fun again and um yeah i do find and very much to your point bar i think if you're invested in a handful of projects they've all sort of gotten the ones especially that have hung around and like continue to do stuff and are pretty active it's like there's so many different layers now and and pieces to it where following one project alone is challenging and you know in order to stay on top of it to the extent that you know you can actually benefit and make money off of it is also like you got to really be paying attention and figure out what's up with these trends um, so yeah, no, but it, you know, I, I think it's like, I rem- you know, I think back to when everything was really buzzing and it was just a lot of fun. Obviously when there was a lot more money in the space, it made it a lot more fun, but you know, there was something really neat just about looking at the different apes and being like, Oh, this one's awesome. Oh, you see this one's for sale. That one just sold. And like, you know, there was just, it was a lot simpler and it was really, really cool. And there was just so much open space in front of us, you know, so much blue ocean. The, uh, what about meme coins? Are you, uh, are you fucking around no, with any of that? I- no, that's just straight up gambling. Um, but back to that <laughs> point, like, I, like it's good that people are like still building, like even though it's like a down market. So, yeah. you know, I I do miss those times. Those are great times. Uh, you know, just early. No, and I think you make a good stuff. point about about building the, the folks that are continuing. Obviously, Yuga, look, they got they raised so much money that they've you know that they they're they're an empire into themselves. And I, I expect, and when they release their game, and you know these things start to come into focus, I think it's going to be really interesting. And you know, I'm still a believer, and I still have our apes, and you know, we even still have our project. Our the zoo album is coming; it's coming soon, and there's some cool stuff around that. I know people have been waiting a while for that. And, uh, you know, so we'll see what, 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 what's good with all that stuff. But, um, yeah, man, I think it's, uh, you know, just trying to recapture some of that magic, man. It was just so much fun. And it was like, I mean, this kind of stuff, I think just like onboards more people, like, uh, the more like gaming will onboard like people. So we just need more people like onboarded. Uh, yeah, no, and and to provide value and owning and and utilizing some of these digital assets, and I, and I and I also understand too that the way that the the thing was back when it first kind of kicked off, um, you know, the whole Web three wave, it couldn't exist like that indefinitely, right? Without more and more money and stuff coming into the space, so you had to have innovation, you had to have things that were going to happen that were going to keep people interested and bring new people into the space, bring new money into the space, and all that, and. Uh, you know, so it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting to see how it's all kind of playing out. But I would agree with you. I think the folks that are going to continue to build and do cool shit, you know, I'm all for it. I, uh, you know, it'd be nice if it wasn't so complicated at times to try to track and follow. Um, and, uh, you know, but at the same time, it's like, you know, some of this is just a natural evolution of things just continuing to evolve and change and, and do what they do. So, 
All right, cool, cool, man. So then for the domain piece for you, I just also want to touch on this. Like what I think is interesting is you mentioned how you've been in doing this now for about five years. Um, you know, you had your portfolio reviewed on shirt before years ago, you know, you continue to keep at it and doing what you're doing. So are you at a position now where you're like, you know, are you still sort of investing into your portfolio? Are you seeing it now where you're getting returns off of your domain sales on a regular basis to that it's a profitable business for you? Or are you still sort of in build mode from a portfolio sort of standpoint? Like what's your, you know, what about that? Uh, no, it's definitely been profitable. Um, I do still buy new names, uh, probably not like as much as I used to, mm -hmm. um, just because even like trying to buy names like privately and stuff like people have. We've all picked it clean, right? Um, but you know, that stuff pays dividends to do that kind of stuff to like the hard work. It's gotten harder, but overall it's definitely been a fun, profitable business because you know, the work is like finding the names, but then you just don't have to do anything after, right? Like you just sit and wait. Unless you're you know, you're like Drew and outbounding and stuff, which is a whole different ballgame. But yeah, I mean, overall it's been a great To be fair though, we don't really outbound our own names, we only outbound other people's names. Yeah. Well, even, even then, like I'm not full-time, so it's a great, like part-time, uh, side hustle. So yeah. I'm really glad, uh, Siger came out with that course cause I've known about domains for a long time, but never like figured it out. Um, until I went through that stuff and then I'm like, Oh, kind of makes sense. So, you know, just like a word of advice, I guess, for new people is try to find like a community or like other domainers and like bounce ideas off of them. Cause that really helped uh, a good friend of mine from previous marketing days, you know, was a good, uh, is a good like domaining buddy, bounced ideas off of, and he brought me into his community. So now, uh, is it somebody we know, somebody you can tell us who that is or, uh, shout out Warren, Warren. Oh Harper. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I've known him a long time before domaining. Um, and yeah, just bouncing off ideas off of him and like the community that I eventually got into has been, uh, helpful. That's awesome. Well, and it's also a big testament and shout out to DN Academy and, and Siger and everything that he built with that. And the fact that he created a course that, you know, did give, you know, real value to people. I mean, like you, you know, you've said it now a couple of times on the show that that was a big catalyst for you to kind of go from sort of just in and outside the periphery of the space and to actually turning into a profitable, like sort of investment, you know, activity. Yeah, And shout out to uh, Domain Sherpa too, obviously, like I binged all these episodes, like when I first started and I listened to all the episodes still. So yeah. happy to be here. No, I'm dude. Gonna... Great to have you on here. We're man. happy to have you, man. You're uh, one of the yeah, good no, guys. I appreciate we, uh, we appreciate the contribution and you know, that's what Domain Sherpa is all about. That's literally the whole purpose of the show is uh, not just to stroke my ego, but also to, you know, help newcomers <laughs> to learn and bring new people into this industry. And, uh, you know, help educate them. So they make smart to decisions, they create success and that grows the pie. And that's been the mission from day one. So, uh, I like to bring guys like you on that are living proof that it works. Yeah. No, it's just awesome. Well, it's a testament to you too. I mean, you know, a bar, because not everybody's successful in this. You know? Hold on, hold <laughs> on a minute. Hold on. Thomas just tweeted that he resold chat.com. For a profit. Yeah, I was about to bring that up, but I was letting Barr finish his monologue. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, jump well, in. All right. Well, that the that sorry, news. sorry dude. About uh, you scooped him. You scooped him, Josh. Scoop me. You scooped me on my so, own show. So he sold, did he say what he what kind of profit he made off? No, of he, he 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 can't uh, he can't disclose buyer or price, but he sold it for uh, an eight figure price in excess of what he paid for it in less than two months. And he donated $250,000 from the profit to Khan Academy to further their mission of using AI to educate the world. That is really awesome. So yep, that's super cool. Um, you got to love that, man. That's a big tick. Like that, I want to say big ticket. I was going to say big ticker, you know, like announcement type coming across. Like that's like real legit news, you know, and you love to see that in the space. And, uh, you know, the thing about Darmesh, I mean, he appreciates the value of domain names. So, I mean, I think that when you have people like that out there that really get it and understand the value and, you know, yeah. at that level, it's pretty cool. Darmesh is a I bought chatservice.com the other day. Is it worth money? What's that? Chat service? Yeah, he owns uh, a really. too, right? 
He owns Prompt.com. He's got a bunch. He's got a bunch of good ones. We just I saw we just I saw Prompt. I saw him. Prompt.io on another. Is that worth money? We, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Prop.io is great. I mean, I, I know. I thought you sold it. I sold it way too cheap three years ago. I scored uh, a hmm. prompt, prompt, uh, the number two, prompt2.com for like, oh, 200. yeah. I was very happy about that. Yeah. Now you can buy prompt.com. Well, I mean, you can, but get the next, yeah. next thing, next, next thing for like, yeah, a grand. Yeah. Oh, that's big news, though. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. You'll be reminded every day that you're second. Second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know, like, if you're not first, you're last. That's a problem. But um, uh, all right. Well, that's what's good. All right. And then what about you, Josh? What else you got going on in your world? So, you know, you mentioned the stuff you have happening with Pickleball. What about uh, what's going on in the domain space for you, DNWE? What? Um, uh, all right. Let me do a quick rundown. Um, DNWE is going good. We switched to permission model. Mm, we're doing more volume now as a result um so you know nothing too crazy we did like 60k volume last month but like 60k and you know smaller sales it's not nothing so i'm okay with it um and you know we'll we'll keep providing that service for as long as we can um sure so that's still going a little bit bit more you're pushing up on a million a year you know and in volume that's that's significant (laughs) Yeah, I think it'll, I think we'll I think we'll do more volume as well. I, the the timing over the last like year or two hasn't been great. I think that now people are going to start selling their names at wholesale a little bit more. We're kind of seeing it already. Uh, we still get a growing number of people that sign up for the service as well. Probably get like two or three new signups a day. Uh, nice. So like it'll grow, um, but TBD on how much. So obviously still super niche. Um, so that's going okay. Um, I'm buying a lot more domains again. Um, pay, yeah. I actually bought selfless.com like a little while ago. I never told anyone, but that that was nice. That was a domain I kind of overpaid for, but like I like it a lot. I'll it's like it. I, we, we own what do we own? We own um, uh, benevolent.com. Oh yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Um, I'm buying domains. Oh, I, AI names. You talk about AI names. I've been cashing out a little bit on it on AI names. To be honest, I sold maybe five AI names to wholesale buyers for sixty k. Yeah, uh, okay. and this is the thing I, I I love, man. I just I I tell nobody listens. I always tell people they don't listen. It was great if you happen to have owned a tremendous dot AI portfolio then this has been a great time to monetize that portfolio and you should be selling into the wave. If you think that you're clever and you're sitting on a permanent gold mine that I've got the only, you are literally going to lose your ass. You're going to literally be coming to me in 12, 18, 24 months. And you were saying, can you help me dump this portfolio full of dog shit? And it, it, Every everybody thinks you know. I had all y'all on here telling me that you know, .io was the hottest thing in the world. Then oh no, no X Y Z is the hottest thing in the world. Now AI is the hottest thing in the world. And if the the reality is is that .com is the hottest thing in the world. It will always be the hottest thing in the world. It is the sun. The entire digital ecosystem revolves around it. Once in a while, a comet passes through the galaxy, and people you know, look up and, and want to see the comet, but it's a fucking comet and it comes and it goes. And it, dot AI only makes sense when there's a new paradigm of, oh, look, there's AI now and there's all these fancy new products. But when AI is then embedded in every freaking product and every business and every company, when every company in the world is in some way or another an AI company, nobody wants to be branded as AI anymore because it's freaking redundant. Just like Google doesn't need to be called Google Search and Amazon doesn't need to be called Amazon Books. And so .ai has a moment in time. It's a flash in the pan. There's a, a comet passing through our galaxy and you should all look up and watch it go by. And, you know, it's got a long, beautiful tail on that shit. But when that fucking tail dissipates, you're holding a pile of dog shit. 
just <laughs> like all the other piles of dog shit that other people have been holding from the dot mobies and the dot infos and the dot biz and the dot every other piece of horse dick that has ever passed through the domain industry that somebody jumped on and then it goes away. And then there's, you know, me sitting here just telling you, I told you to stick with dot com. That's where the money is. That's where the, the buyers always will be. Right. But no, everybody wants a little, you know, everyone wants a little Pepe coin. Everyone wants a little doge. Everyone wants the hot new, everyone wants to put the, you know, everyone wants to put their fingers in the hottest pie that just came out the oven. But I'm just telling you, if you want to be in this business for the long haul, you got to buy things that hold their value regardless. And that is one thing only. Yeah. Would Premium, you... One word, two word, two letter, three letter, four letter, dot com domain names, period. Full stop. End of story. Preach. Um, um would you say, you know, you so say you'd add dot club into that mix as well? You know? Yeah, you know, it, had it's, time. The, it had its time. Yeah, I mean, go check out Fitty in the club and see what's going on with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, go bought it. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that ship sailed. It's well, and it's interesting because I think back of when COVID first kicked off and Clubhouse was a thing. And, you know, you think about DN Academy compared to some of the other, you know, like. Oh, you, of- you just looking to rile me up, aren't you? You just looking <laughs> around me up. You're looking for a fight, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Uh, aren't you? All right. So, here's the deal. Um, I mean, look, it's the same swindlers and just absolute zero contribution human beings to the domain space that were on Clubhouse talking about. Doc Club, the hottest new thing in town. Go get you some Doc Club. And then it's the same swindlers that are uh, are, are sinking, you know, the names con boat. And the, the, it's just, it's the same people over and over again that are just trying to be a snake oil salesman. Or I don't even know what it is they do. But it's the same worst crap. Like, again... It was great if you were early and you owned a portfolio of .ai names, you probably made a lot of money. I hope you have. And I hope you're selling into the wave. Always sell into the wave. I started preaching this in 2015 on a stage at Domain Fest or NamesCon or whatever the hell we used to go to at that time. And I said it was like the first big crypto wave that was sort of very public. And I told people, I said, Sell into the wave. You know, when Bitcoin is at an all-time high and the market's freaking out, you got 10 people banging on your door to buy names, that's the time to sell. It's not the time to say, oh, everybody else wants what I've got. Let me hold on to it even tighter. It's no. Sell into the wave. Sell into the wave. That's what I got got the wave behind me. What Drew is trying to say is the waves behind me, and it's the sell into the wave. You know what I'm saying? What Drew is trying to say is do what I do. Do (laughs) Do what what he does. Do what he does. But hey, we back it up. We do. We do. We we do what we say and say what we do. I look. That's the one thing you can like me. You can hate me. I don't care. But what you will never ever be able to say is that I don't do what I say. I, 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 I'm, I'm here preaching, and most people don't agree with me. But that's why I agree most with you. people aren't I agree successful. with you 100%. I agree. Yeah. No, I think it's all. I, think I agree with you 100%. Is- that's why I brought up the topic of selling my AI names, bro. <laughs> 100%. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's all good. I think that's a key. This is some key insight. And, uh, and again, big shout out to DN Academy and Michael Seiger for having created a, you know, a course that really does provide real value. And I appreciate earlier what you said, Barr, about Domain Sherpa. Uh, cause that is very much our mission is to try to give people some insight that they otherwise wouldn't get. We say this a lot too. I mean, you know, when we're on here talking about our domain sales and different things and giving tips and tricks as to how we do what we do, we're actually hurting ourselves competitively, but we're actually out here like, you know, we're not selling anything. We're just trying to give advice. Well, and it's really, in it's really theory, wild. in theory, in theory, you're right. But there's this strange phenomenon that where you can literally, I can lay out the steps like here, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. This is how you make money in domain names. If 10,000 people watch that video, there would be one person who would follow the steps. One. That's it. One person would actually be committed and do it. And all the rest would talk about it on Twitter. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah. And that's why we have what we have, man. You know, so cream rises to the top as we raise the bar here. So, you know, let's, uh, and I think that's Cash a good. Cash rules note. everything around me. Cream, Cash get the rules money. Around me. Dollar, dollar yeah. bill, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. My man. All right. Well, look, I think that's a great spot that's, to stop. Yo, that's, that's got to be the show title. It's just cream. Cream. <laughs> C we got a couple. period, we got a couple. C, C period, R period, E period, A period, M period. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. All right. Well, that's a good spot to stop. There are definitely some gems dropped today. I appreciate all y'all, especially appreciate Bar for being on here, man. First time. Hope it will not be the last time. You know, you're now officially a Sherpa, so you're part of the squad. And yep. uh, give me that mug. Give me that mug. You know, you get the hey, mug. So, so gotta... I don't want to put you on the spot, but I'm going to anyways. So, uh, if there was somebody, is there? I want you to tell, give me a name of somebody uh, that you think we should bring on the show that has not been on Demean Sherpa. Ooh, oh, I like that. Who, uh, who's in your squad? Who's out there putting in the hustle? They've got an angle. They've got a leverage point. They're doing things a little different than some other people, or they're just doing it a little better than other people. Who's on the come up? Who's hot? Who's got something to say that you think is, you know, some interesting insights that we should bring out to the show and highlight? I like uh, Tony, Tony names. Do you guys know Tony names? Tony names. I, I, I know. I know Tony names from Twitter. I don't yeah, know who he is. I, know I don't from. know. Um, okay. But he has like a, I guess, like very similar strategy, I guess, to me and Josh and like, uh, well, I don't know if that's true, but uh, he's a he's been very successful, and uh, he shares a lot of information. And apparently, he learned some stuff from me, which I found interesting. I'm like, how did you learn from oh, me? Look at that. Um, and now he's uh he's killing it. He's a. Uh, right. I, I just remember somebody calling him out as an asshole on Twitter like a few weeks ago. That tells me that he's perfect. He <laughs> was like, "That's my kind of guy." You're yeah, successful. it's like. Yeah, that 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 means he's perfect. Let's go. All right, All right, Tony Names, I'll... Tony Names, if you're listening, man, hit us up. Hit me in the DMs, and uh, let's get you on Demean Sherpa. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So let me just say thank you again for everybody for being on the show. Josh, you know what it is, man. Keep hitting the pickleball straight. And, uh, you know, Drew, as usual, but especially to Bar, man, appreciate you being on here today and sharing with us. And to the audience, like I say on every show, thank you for tuning in. Without you, there is no us. So please make sure you let us know the good, the bad, the ugly. We're not hard to find. And continue to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button. Do all the needful that you need to do to make sure you can stay up on what we're doing and help support us. Do what we do. We very much appreciate it. And then uh, we'll otherwise keep it moving. And we'll see everybody here next time on Domain Sherpa where all roads lead to domains. Peace out, everybody. Cream, get the money. Peace.